Next up, we have Mick Grant from Men's Across. Okay, guess what works. So I guess you are a program builder. You first took over a Marywood team and you know went to the conference finals, second year as a program, and now you started the program here at Bridgewater and matched or improved the win total every year. What are some of the challenges of that situation, and why do you think you've had success with it? Um, some, some of the challenges, again, we're coming into a very established conference. Um, I mean, you're looking at schools that have had lacrosse for decades uh, and that are perennial powerhouses in that sport, um, Lynchburg, Devinal, Hampton, Sydney. Um, so the challenge is, you know, again, you're playing catch up. Um, how we've been able to close the gap, we're just finding the right kids who want to play, uh, who want to work hard. Um, you know, I heard Coach Spot talk about culture, kids that buy into what we're trying to do uh, as a program and individually. Um, and that are just good fits for, for Bridgewater and our lacrosse program. So uh, I think that's helped immensely in closing the gap with some of the mid-tier teams and, and as we continue to strive to that upper level. And what is it like as a coach with sort of the unique, unique situation that are taking a year off just to recruit? You've done it twice now and not having those games for a season as you build that team. Yeah, I wouldn't do it again. Um, you know, I think any competitor as a coach – will tell you it's really tough to watch uh, the sport they love from the sidelines and not have a hand in good, bad uh, aspect of it. So it's extremely tough. Uh, you know, I, I joked with some family and friends when we did it first time that I'd never do it again. Uh, I did do it again. I'm glad I did it again. Uh, I certainly don't plan on doing it a third time. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's tough to stand on the sidelines and watch. And you played in this conference. Can you tell us a little about your tell us a little bit about your time as a student athlete, and then what got you into coaching lacrosse? Yeah, I don't. I won't tell you about much of my time as a student athlete, <laughs> uh, other than the fact that, again, I, I you know I didn't start at Hampton Sydney. Uh, I started out two years at Ohio Wesleyan. Uh, was very fortunate to play at a high level there. Did transfer into Hampton Sydney. Um, you know, and again, I think it's one of the selling points that I can talk to genuinely to our recruits about having played in a conference that the academics are good across the board, the athletics are good across the board, uh, the networking is good across the board, and so there's some validity there when I can tell them that, yeah, I graduated from the school um, <clears throat> that's in the conference. So uh, it, it's nice to have that firsthand knowledge uh, of uh, the schools we're going against and and what it takes and what we're looking for in those student athletes. And like several other coaches we've interviewed tonight, you also have coaching experience at one of the other local schools at VMI. You know, what, maybe some of the culture and discipline there, how has that helped enhance your coaching style as you then went on to become a head coach? Yeah, I think um, you know, one, of the, one of the things I took from VMI, certainly outside of the discipline and, and um, the obvious things that VMI provides, is just the genuine appreciation of loving what you do. Uh, even though it's a Division I school and there's a lot of people that, you know, play for various reasons, uh, the kids that went there genuinely loved what they do. They had to endure a different aspect uh, of college life that uh, most kids don't have to go through. And so I think just appreciating the opportunity to compete, play, pull for your, uh, you know, your teammate and the brotherhood aspect uh, is certainly something that stuck with me in my nine years down there that I've tried to instill in, in the program here. And now here at Bridgewater, what, what do you look for in a student athlete when you recruit them here? I think they're good, right? Uh, you know, that, you know, that they want to be here and they want to play. I think, you know, Coach Spots, you know, touched on it too. I mean, you got to find the right kid, right? Uh, the kid that wants to be here, you know, we point blank tell our recruits, you know, we don't get the same kids um, that Lynchburg and WNL go after, and we don't want to go after those kids. Uh, we want to go after the kids that are good and want to get better uh, and that work to get better daily. Um, and so I think we've identified those kids pretty well over the last couple of years. Your team clearly took a, a couple steps up last year in the conference, winning six games, and still it came down to you know a pair of one goal victories. Is really what got you in. How is it so hard? You know, how is it competing in a conference? Excuse me, that's so tough and so deep. You know, when six teams make it, and there's always more than six good teams every year. Well, I think you know, I think that just shows the goes to the show and the validity of how tough the conference is. 
uh, from top to bottom. The bottom teams are getting better. Uh, I think it also shows validity when you tell your player that every game counts, right? And it's not cliched and that, you know, you could upset a top four team and barely be the team that's ranked eighth in the conference at the time by a goal. So there are no days off and, you know, it's, it's a great selling point uh, for us uh, that the conference from top to bottom is competitive and is getting more competitive. And what, what are we expect from this year's roster? Maybe who are some of the key players and what are your goals for this year? Uh, the goals have always been from day one, year one, to make the conference uh, playoffs and then from there, you know, see what happens. Um, you know, we focus on one game at a time so we don't really look too far ahead. Um, this year's team is going to be different. We, we lost a lot of key guys last year, a lot of all-conference kids, a lot of guys that played for four years. So the experience factor we talk about, uh, we only have two seniors, right? So you can say we're kind of young, more inexperienced, because a lot of our juniors and sophomores played um, extensively last year. Uh, so I think it's a team that, you know, in February and early March, we'll be looking to try to find our identity uh, so that we can, you know, look for the bigger picture down in April and, and when it counts. So um, I'm excited to see it. It's a good group of guys. Um, practices have been going well. And, um, you know, we're, we're excited to get started soon. Yeah, you open up at home in just over two weeks' time. So. Yeah, late, late start for us. Uh, well, good luck with the spring season. Make great. Thank you.